Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Adam. And we're interested in exploring the phenomenon of underwater explosions, specifically how a torpedo sinks a ship. Contrary to popular belief, modern torpedoes do not actually have direct impact with the hull of a ship. Instead, they use a proximity fuse to detonate beneath the ship. This detonation vaporizes the water around the torpedo and creates a high-pressure, high-temperature steam bubble, as well as an intense shock wave beneath the keel. When the detonation occurs below the keel, the resulting pressure wave of the explosion lifts the ship, weakening its keel in the process. As the steam bubble collapses, the ship is sucked down by negative pressure and appears to momentarily sag in the middle. When the steam bubble finally reaches the surface, it explodes through the hull of the ship as the change in pressure creates another more powerful shock wave. This combined effect often breaks smaller targets in half and can severely disable larger vessels. We attempted to recreate this phenomenon on a small scale by creating high pressure air bubble using an air pump in a small balloon. By inflating the balloon until failure, we simulated the rapid expansion and subsequent collapse of the steam bubble created by the explosion. You can see the shock waves on the surface created by the initial popping of the balloon, as well as the oscillations of the bubble. These oscillations occur as the internal pressure of the bubble approaches the hydrostatic pressure of the water surrounding it. Once the internal pressure reaches the hydrostatic pressure, the bubble begins to contract. This phenomenon results in a rising, pulsating bubble, expanding and then compressing, emitting pressure waves into the surrounding water column. This is known as isotropic propagation. Despite the relatively small bubble, the shock waves generated from these oscillations can cause tremendous damage to nearby solid bodies due to water's incompressibility. The bubble's behavior is governed by the riley plesset equation, which is a unique derivation of the Navier-Stokes equation. In its general form, which is unsolvable, the equation shows the relationship between the internal pressure of the bubble, the external pressure, and the radius of the bubble. Because the raleigh plesset assumes a spherical bubble and a constant internal pressure, we cannot completely calculate the exact behavior of our bubble. It does allow us to see how the changing radius over time induces a difference in pressure in the surrounding environment. As the radius approaches zero, the pressure difference must go to infinity, creating those deadly shock waves on the surface.